Hmm. Hello, welcome back. We're at a weird kind of angle today because I started using my desk. I was like, do you know what I'm going to be? An adult who uses their desk. I put a few polls on Instagram last night and asked people what they wanted to see. So today we're doing... Hi Kat, what are you doing? So today we're doing something that y'all voted for and it's going to be my top five favorite locations to work as a blueberry at Walt Disney World. So if you don't know, I was a character tenant on my Disney College program, Disney International program, whatever you want to call it. So I worked with characters and I was status in Magic Kingdom. I did work in studios and I was scheduled an event in DAC but I traded it to give it away because I didn't want to work in DAC at all. That's the tea. That is the Magic Kingdom, so these are all Magic Kingdom resort areas. Um, my top four? My top three are like super, super solid, I feel like. My top four I was pretty sure about. It's only the like number five spot where I was like, up. Uh, I struggled. But this is gonna be my top five, because five is an even number. Um, I feel like for agendas, there's a few things that people either really like or dislike, so that makes a huge difference. You're either like a face person or a fur person I find. I'm a fur person. I really didn't like working with face characters at all. So you'll notice pretty much all of these are fur. Um, you can either be like an indoor or an outdoor person. I generally preferred indoor locations, but some of the characters I liked so much that I liked. I would be outdoors because I like them so much. I realize my nose ring's not in. Hey, she's back. Some people don't like longer sets again this is like a personal thing i really like having short sets because i feel like it goes by fast but also kind of like dining sets but the reason i didn't like places like fairytale halls because they have 70 minute sets sometimes which is super super long and it drags by for me like you're either a face person a fur person an indoor or an outdoor person i am kind of partial on indoor outdoor but i'm definitely a fur person so if you like face you're not gonna like any of these sorry all right number one favorite thought thought <laughs> myself out there my number one favorite place to work is thoughtful spot this is thoughtful spot here it is uh, a place to meet with friends so it is generally Pooh and Tigger but I also worked here with Tigger and Piglet one day which is super fun I love these characters Pooh and friends are my favorite characters to work with hands down they're so cute they're so sweet everyone has really good interactions with them I find because they're classic characters so, like kids grew up with them because they're not super new parents really love them a lot of people have like Tigger and Pooh tattoos things like that they're just such like wholesome characters that everyone knows and everyone relates to and they're so sweet they're just so cute I don't know I love their personalities I think they're super fun they're my favorite characters to work with period you'll see this on my number two too but I really like Thoughtful. A lot of people don't. A lot of performers don't like Thoughtful. A lot of attendants find it stressful. I really liked it. I essentially like force bid myself there once or twice a week so I would always switch to be at Thoughtful. I love it so much. It's a ten and a half hour day which I really like because I like having hours. I liked having overtime. Working one or two days at Thoughtful or as a spare. I didn't include a spare on here because it's like not a real shift but I also like spare shifts. But having a ten and a half, eleven, twelve hour day once a week I found really helped balance out my hours because then I could work one six hour day and not feel like I was losing a ton of money. So I like the hours of Thoughtful. I like that you have two attendants there so you'll have a front of, front of line and with your character and you'll swap off so I feel like your day goes by quick because you're constantly changing positions. You also have a photo pass so if something happens and one attendant has to go off with the character you have that support there as well with photo pass which I find is really handy. I had like a really bad incident happened one day where both of the attendants had to step off and it's nice to have a photo pass there because Tigger essentially was by himself but that's a whole different story but it's nice to have that support there. Also a lot of your performers and attendants and captains bid here because they like doing a four day bid which is where they get these longer shifts for less days. So for me when I was coming into Thoughtful on a Sunday I knew every single person that was working which was so nice. Everyone knew who I was, I knew who they were. When you know your performers, you have like really good rapport with them, you can go back and forth, you understand the characters better. On top of me just like knowing how Pooh and Tigger interacted in their animations anyways, because I worked with them all the time, it's nice knowing who you're working with. I hope that makes sense. Again, with time goes by quickly, they are short sets. With Pooh and Tigger are doing short sets, you're doing 20 minute sets, and there's a little bit of a walk there. The walk is really stressful and a lot of people don't like the location because they don't like the walk, but the walk also means that you're moving all the time and you're doing stuff, so I found the day went by really quick. That's kind of that. There is reasons I don't like this location. Every location has its pros and cons, but Thoughtful is the one location where if I saw it, I would give up pretty much any shift for a Thoughtful shift. My second, in the same world, is Crystal Palace. If you don't know, I have a whole vlog of me going to Crystal Palace as a guest. I'll have it linked up there. Crystal Palace is character dining with Pooh and friends. So you have Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore, and Piglet. 
those four there. I love them. I think they're so cute. Pooh and Tigger are like my number one, but Eeyore was my favorite character going in. I don't know if you can see him. I have an Eeyore back there. Um, and Piglet's just so cute. He's the most adorable thing in the whole world. <laughs> I made so many friends at this location. Again, a lot of people work here a lot of days, like they bid here. So it was a consistent team. I had a lot of the same captains here. I had a lot of new captains, which was really interesting too. You get a lot of new attendants and new performers as well because I kind of put them here to start off. But super, super fun. Once you understand the rotation, it's really easy. The rotation is super like weird and kind of hard to wrap your head around the first like couple sets a really simple rotation especially if the rest of the team knows what they're doing um but i find it's just a very easy shoot you don't have to worry about five minute or ten minute calls which is something in dining that you never really have to worry about because there is a celebration which is the poo raid which is so dang cute um but it makes it really easy you're mostly there to prep tables pull characters to places they need to go pull tables to places they need to go things like that if you want to be really active, it's a really good guest interaction because you can kind of hang out with tables and just talk to them. It's really easy to like naturally speak to people instead of where if you're like a meet and greet spot, you're kind of just spilling at your line and not really talking to your line. Here you can really talk to people in their tables, which is really nice. But also if you're not in the mood to talk and you're not in the mood to like be super in people's faces, you can kind of mind your own business, stand back. It gives you kind of that space to do whatever you feel most comfortable in. Great guest interaction. Everyone knows the characters. Everyone loves characters. Especially with Eeyore. Oh my god. People love that boy so much and I don't blame them. He's so cute. But I just love Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace was probably my number one until I worked more thoughtful and I knew everyone was thoughtful and then thoughtful beat them. Number three is Be Our Guest. Again, I'll throw a photo of me and the beast up here. I love this location. First off, the Fantasyland costume looks good on everyone it is the most flattering thing i think i've ever put on my body which is not a thing that happens in most disney costumes but i love that costume i love the story i love the setting i love the character it's just perfect unlike character dining like chef mickey's which spoiler alert, i'll talk about later or crystal palace you're not walking around you're in the study you're in a set area but guests can come up and meet you kind of throughout their meal. We say after their meal, but people come throughout their meal, which is really nice because it doesn't get too busy. People are kind of just like constantly trickling in. It never feels crazy. You do still have two attendants and a photo pass, which is nice here, but it never feels insane. At the end of the night, we were usually force extended there um, because people would just not want to come up and meet him. They would want to finish their meals and then just loiter around and then meet him. So it was kind of long days in that sense, but it never got like crazy busy. I was literally never stressed at Be Our Guest. Ever. I was never stressed. It was just like a really laid back location I found. It is a like more rare character. You can only meet him if you are dining for dinner at Be Our Guest, which kind of sucked because you could only do dinner shifts and they were short, but it also meant that you got to work with a rare character, which is really, really cool. His whole story is really cool and his setup is really cool. Um, I feel like because you have to be eating dinner there, you get a different type of clientele. So you get some like really amazing interactions with parents that have their little girls dressed up in like bell dresses and like doing like Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. They usually come here or CRT afterwards. Um, so you just get like the cutest interaction of him like twirling little girls and like kissing hands. It's so cute. Um, I also always had a good team here. Um, I've only had like one captain that was like, he was just stressed out. Captains here cover a huge area so I can see where they're stressed out because they cover like Gaston, Peter, somewhere else. I want to see the grotto and be our guest or something, but I've always had a good team. I've always had a good time. I really, really like it here. Um, it was a place I didn't get to work a ton, but when I did, I loved it. I would never give be our guest shifts away. I love it. On to number four. Like I hinted at, number four is Chef Mickey's. This is the contemporary resort, duh. Pretty much if you're status in the Magic Kingdom, you also get the Magic Kingdom resort area. So this could be Ohana, 1900 Park Fair, uh, Character Advantage, which I'll we'll talk more about later. Um, contemporary, things like that. So I really like Chef Mickey's. I like Chef Mickey's dinner better than breakfast. I work both. The dinner shift is an 11 hour shift, which is really, really nice for hours. And you do get a two-ish hour gap in the middle of the day which is really nice. Only one of the hours is paid because you take an hour long unpaid lunch. But at this shift, between like travel time there, travel time back, the gap in the middle of the day and all of my breaks, I essentially only end up working about eight hours and I get paid for 10. So great way to make money. You are working with the Fab Five. I love these costumes so much. I'll throw a picture of me up on my last day. I was at Chef Mickey's. That was my last shift. I think their chef costumes are 
so dang cute. I love them. I think the characters are cute. Goofy is like another one of my favorites to work with. He is the most handsome man in the whole world and I love him. Obviously the mice are really cute to work with too. Donald, super fun. Pluto, the best boy. Everything about these characters is super fun. I don't love the guests here as much as I like them at Crystal or Be Our Guest, but guests are pretty much like generally okay. I hadn't had too many bad guests there. I had one of my like sweetest interactions ever happen at Chef Mickey, so you do get like really, really cute character interactions sometimes. It feels less crazy than being in the theme parks as well sometimes because it is a resort character dining. Super easy rotation in the fact that they seat wave seating. So there's three sections of seating at Chef Mickey's and they'll seat all of this section before they start seating this one and then they'll seat all of this one before they start seating this one and they go in a big circle. Crystal works on popcorn seating so they'll seat everywhere so sometimes people will meet no characters and then have to wait 90 minutes and then they get all four all at once. At Chef Mickey's they will get all four characters pretty much as soon soon as all four, all five, <laughs> all five characters pretty much as soon as they sit and then they won't see them again and it's not your problem. Super easy, you rarely miss people or if you do miss people you don't have to pull your characters very far which is nice. Again, a lot of people bid here which is really nice. I only work Chef Mickey's about four times and two of those times I had like, I knew every single person, like it was all the same people. <laughs> um, so that's nice too. Dining is quick, dining is easy, you do have another attendant and a captain there with you. Um, there is photo pass, but it's outside the restaurant, so it's not your problem. In dining, sometimes I will take photos for people if I'm like in the area or it's one person, but generally people are okay with asking other guests to take photos. You're focused more on your rotations and your characters, which is really, really nice. Um, this is also a place where you generally get not a lot of new people, which is kind of nice too. So the celebration is so cute. This is the cutest celebration on property. I will fight anyone who says otherwise. The Chef Mickey celebration is stuck in my head literally all the time to this day. I've been home for over a month. I am constantly like, celebrate, every day's a party, all the time, every day, it's just my life, this location is so cute. And then my number five is my only non-fur location, and this is Cinderella's Royal Table. I only work dinner, so I don't know how crazy breakfast is, but I really like this location. Again, it is dining, some people really don't like dining, some people really do like dining. I like dining a lot. I talked so much, my camera ran out of memory, so. <laughs> I am buying a new memory card on the 11th Best Buy is having a sale. I posted this on Twitter, but if you are a YouTube person or photographer, Best Buy, in Canada at least, is having a sale on 128 gig memory cards for 20 bucks, which is an insane deal. Go to Best Buy. Thank you. Now back to um, Cinderella's Royal Table. What I was saying, CRT has two parts to it. There's upstairs and lobby. As a regular non-captain, you'll always be a lobby attendant. There's a captain upstairs. Upstairs they have Snow White, Aurora, Jasmine and Ariel, yeah that sounds right. And then the lobby there is Cinderella, they meet Cinderella before they go to their meal and then they go meet the other girls. So you're essentially just standing in the lobby with Cinderella. They check in with the front desk, that's not the word, hostess. They check in with like the seaters up front, they come in, they meet her and then they go wait to be called to go upstairs. So you're kind of like a filler in between them getting to their meal. But like any face character, she does do longer sets, but also when Cinderella goes off, you go off. There is, you know, Cinderella's just Cinderella and she still needs breaks and it's not like anyone else can go stand there because there's just Cinderella. So generally you'll do about 45 minutes on, 30 minutes off. So huge breaks in this day. You only work about, you know, three quarters of the time that you're there, maybe less, which is nice. And it has a really short shift. Like I like working the Chef Mickey's thoughtful spare shifts a couple times a week so that I can work something like CRT, which is only like a six and a six and a half hour shift, somewhere around that, and still make my money. But this shift goes by super, super fast. I feel like you're barely on set. The same way the beer guest has super cute interactions. This is where a lot of little girls go after going to Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. So you see lots of princesses here, lots of little princes. Um, I like the whole like message of Cinderella. I know a lot of people find her boring because she's kind of like a classic character and doesn't have a lot to her because she's an original story. Hi, cat. What do you do? Hi, Bean. Come say hi to your fans. She says no. She has like a really good, I don't know, good morals almost. I don't even know how to describe it without just sounding like a crazy person. But Cinderella is a character that people really trust, people really know. She talks a lot about being like respectful and brave 
and being like regal which is really nice um it's funny listening to her talk about like you know listen to your parents be respectful to women things like that there's a lot of really good lessons with her um and it is very similar in the setup to be our guest which is probably why i like it too but it is face so you don't do a lot so it can be boring in the sense that she's talking for herself you aren't having to translate any animations um but it's just like really like sweet to watch i find and it's a really short shift it's super super easy you are the only attendant but it is painfully easy <laughs> also just as like a behind the scene thing it's a cool break room the crt break room is obviously shared with your princesses upstairs it's also shared with um your murph attendants and the he's royal friendship fair so that's interesting um a lot of people just come and go from that break room so it's cool to see like the behind the scenes of the princesses as well and seeing like their dresses and things like that i think is really interesting which you don't get with fur characters because they're just they're just teddy bears they aren't wearing ball gowns you know and then i do have some honorable mentions like i said crt like barely made it in a lot of these were like really really close my top three top four were pretty set but these ones made it really close too halloween party shifts oh my gosh are so much fun i actually have like a whole video coming on this like insane halloween party shift it was my last halloween party i essentially became a vip tour guide it's a long story it's gonna get its own video but super fun i worked vampire mickey so that was super fun i assisted at all of the storybook circus locations so goofy minnie donald daisy dwarves thoughtful i helped out a little bit the there's a lot of locations and they're super super cool um they're really unique interesting characters that aren't normally out which is really fun they're like unique pairing of characters like you get prince eric with ariel he's not normally out besides at um the boardwalk for character dining so super fun shifts i liked working with vampire mickey um mostly because it's cool because it's like mickey but more unique it was in town square which is kind of a downer because i don't really love town square um but super cute to see everyone's costumes too so the halloween party shifts are tons of fun um especially like dance parties and stuff they're tons of fun too as much as i don't like town square i really liked working with minnie and mickey i don't think i would feel the same just going back now it's just mickey back in his magician costume now and i don't think i'd feel the same way working with them together was amazing the chemistry is awesome between minnie and mickey like you know they've been a couple for like 90 years they're like the most in love ever um so super super fun those little celebration outfits are the cutest things in the whole world they remind me of move it shake it and i would die for move it shake it it is the best parade um ever besides paint the night but we won't talk about that because she's never going to come to this coast minnie and mickey at town square were real cute i don't think i feel the same way just just the mouse who's there now hi how was your day going you got up to anything fun today no you just snoozed with me that's fair also people ask about cat a lot if you'd like to watch a video on Kat's whole story, let me know because she's pretty cute. She's pretty chill and she has a fun life story. You can go back on the bed there, B. Also, Pete's boy side, so that's the Donald and Goofy side. Whoa! Really miscalculated that jump there. Like I said, I love working with Goofy so much. So Pete's was really fun, but it is an insane environment and I would not recommend it to anyone who is a high stress person. So could be my top five. Um, character advantage also. I work character advantage with the chipmunks, which is super, super fun. I'm sad I only got to do it once because it's a great shift. You do two sets at the Contemporary, two sets at Fort Wilderness, and then two sets no, two sets of the Contemporary, two sets at Wilderness Lodge, and then two sets at Fort Wilderness, I think. And then you do the sing-along. I do have a video of that day that Jamie came and visited me at work when I was working the Chipmunks, so I'll link that up there as well. You take a work for you to take a look at. Oh, I've been talking for so long, but super easy shift. You spend most of it driving in a car with your captain. Um, but yeah, that's it. My camera's dying, so I'm going to wrap this up. I've already been talking for like 25 minutes. They're just my top five favorite locations of working as a character tenant. I was status at Magic Kingdom on my program. If you have other locations that you love and you're in different parks, let me know. Like I said, this is totally my personal preference, so you may not love these if you work them. I understand, especially thoughtful. It's a polarizing thing. I know. All my links to everything else are down below as always. Please, please, please subscribe. I put out at least one video a week, sometimes two. I don't know. Depends on my mood. A lot of Disney stuff, a lot of just like random vloggy things too. Maybe I'm on Instagram. Maybe I'll be back at Disney sometime. Literally, who knows? Will they hire me again? I don't know. But subscribe. Drop me a comment of your favorite places to meet characters and I will creep through them and tell you if you've ever worked there. And I'll see you guys very soon.